Hi, and thank you for joining us for another IP Technology Labs Tech Tips on the Fastlane Appliances. Today we're going to talk about how to access the Model 71 at its native factory default IP address. So this is how you would configure or set up your laptop or PC to get to the management interface to do your configuration and setup. So I'll bring up a picture of the bottom of a Model 71. You can see the power, pretty self-explanatory. You've got this green Ethernet jack here, which we call LAN or local. And you've got the yellow one over here. We call that uplink. Um, or sometimes we call that the uh, um, the WAN side. Also, you have this reset button over here. And just real quickly, if you want to factory default a unit, grab a paper clip. There's a little button right there. When the unit is powered on, push and hold that button for approximately five seconds. You'll see all the lights start flashing together. Once that happens, the unit is actually factory defaulted, uh, which is a good state to uh, start in. So from a physical connection perspective, you're going to want to take your Ethernet from your laptop and connect it to this green uh, LAN Ethernet port and then put, turn the power on. Let the unit boot up. That'll take about a minute or so. Now you've got a physical connection. Once your unit boots up, you'll see the power, green power LED and then the status light on the front of the 71 should be flashing about once every second. That means you know it's alive and it's running our, our firmware on that. Now we have to get your laptop connected up to um, the network level here. So first thing you want to do is um, go ahead and this is a Windows 10 system. So I'm going to right click on that Windows. I'm going to open up a command prompt and you'll get this command window. This is old school DOS. Easiest way to get to the network connections is type in ncpa.cpl and this directly opens the control panel element that shows all of your uh, interfaces for networking. Now we can uh, go and get this uh, through the control panel as well. If we wanted to uh, right click and go to the uh, control panel and click on that you'd see network and uh, internet and we could just type in network connections and the first thing that comes up is view uh, network connections and you click on that you get the same thing those are two different ways to get there uh, one is more direct now don't close this window just yet because we're going to use this to verify uh, what we actually have done here. So you see I've got a bunch of connections. I got my Wi-Fi that's not connected and I've got uh, some other various items in here. Uh, my Ethernet on my laptop that I'm concerned about is this call, one called Ethernet 3. So I'm going to right click on that um, and then uh, right click on that and go to properties. It comes up and we can go down now and select IPv4 Internet Protocol version 4. So right click on that and then right click on properties. Now you see there's nothing here. So we're going to put in an address that we can use to communicate with the Model 71. I usually use, like to use an address that's uh, one below the factory default. So I'm going to put in 192, 168, 100, 169. And then Windows automatically fills in uh, the rest of the information I need. It's a 255, 255, 255. Dot zero or a slash 24 net mask. So I'm just going to sit. Okay, I don't need anything else. I don't need gateway, DNS, anything like that. All right. Now I can check and see if my Ethernet interface is correctly configured by typing in at the command prompt ipconfig and hit enter. And uh, you may have to scroll up. And here we see that Ethernet 3 has the IP address of 192.168.100.169. So that's good. Now we want to make sure that our laptop can actually talk to the Model 71. So I'm going to use the ping command. Type in ping 192.168.100.170. And this tells me that my laptop is now talking to the Model 71, which is great. It's what we want to do. So now I can close all of that. I'm going to open up a web browser here. And the address I type in is http colon slash slash 192.168.100.170. I hit enter. Ask me for the authentication, which is the default uh, admin is admin, admin, all lowercase. You press login, and now you're into your unit. 
to show you where this address actually is, is if you click on the networking tab up there and the system, you can see here we have secondary interfaces. This is where that default comes in. We can actually add uh, several more secondary interfaces. So let's say you're uh, on a network and you've got a management network or you have different subnets and you want to have different uh, accesses to this unit. Uh, you can put them in there or for security purposes you want to pop that off and remove it so that uh, you can't get to it then you can uh, do that. Normally when the unit is plugged in it will DHCP from the network or attempt to DHCP from the network um, and if you plug that into a LAN that does has a, have a DHCP server it will um, automatically do that and then attempt to make a connection to our demo server uh, for a factory defaulted unit but then also if it gets up online you can go through uh, and you can access it through our management server which is in the next video so I hope this was helpful to you and thank you very much for your attention